I want us to recollect what, how Cassie, sister Cassie Horinek ended her presentation this morning. She said, it is a good day. And I want to say that today is a good day. It's a good day for Mother Earth that the children of the Earth could speak up in her defense and that children of Mother Earth can also decide where we must go next. The Universal Declaration of the Rights of Mother Earth that was agreed to at Cochabamba in 2010, clearly and as emphasized by the prosecutor, gave us the right to empower, that to empower human beings and institutions to defend the rights of Mother Earth and all beings. In other words, in other words we can set up rules and regulations and how, on how people and other beings relate to Mother Earth. Today we heard from experts and from the testimonies we heard things particularly connected to the COP, the Conference of Parties, ongoing in Paris at this time. We heard that the present COP is a farce and it's merely a conference to add up intended nationally determined contributions or suggestions that will only pave the way for the burning of the planet. We also heard that the UNFCCC is not addressing the fundamental causes of global warming and is therefore deeply implicated in the ongoing climate crimes. In particular, the COP is not making a proposal to restrict fossil fuel extraction and is not proposing how to actually stop deforestation. Neither is the COP making any meaningful agreements to reduce emissions from agriculture. Now we have also heard that not all human beings are complicit in the crimes, in the climate crimes, but that just a handful of humans, 10% of the riches, contribute the bulk of the carbon emissions along with a handful of corporations who look at, at nature as capital and who, as you've heard, also look at Mother Earth as a dead organism, which we know is not true. So some of the things we noted today include the fact that Climate change and social inequality are fueled by the same actors and that their claims that we don't have alternatives is a cover up and must be rejected and is hereby rejected. We also heard that one of the articles in the present negotiation text states that negotiations should not, negotiators should not take any measure that will affect international trade. However, the crisis that we are confronting cannot be solved without dealing with trade issues. So such arguments must also be rejected. Without forests, there will be no life and what we depend on are not produced by us, but by other children of Mother Earth. This was emphasized very clearly today. We also noted the gap in the COP that water is not given the place in the negotiations and that our rivers are being dammed to death. But water is a human right, a public trust, and must not be seen as property. We also heard that industrial and chemical farming harm the people, the environment, and equally that market mechanisms favor only businesses and not people. Reliance on market mechanisms, bioenergy, geoengineering, and other false solutions delay action on climate change and lock in harmful activities against Mother Earth. It broke Mother Earth's heart to hear about the harmful effects of uranium mining and nuclear energy production, and the fact that the wastewater from these installations 
cannot really be returned to natural cycles of Mother Earth. They're causing displacement of communities, and related disasters destroy and harm not just present generations, but many generations to come. So the things that we resolve today include the fact that the capitalist system and current development model, the general economic system, all work against the interests of Mother Earth and her children. And so the entire system must be changed, otherwise the climate crisis would not be resolved. We demand a declaration of a moratorium on all new fossil fuels projects, and indeed all fossil fuels must be left under the ground. Steps must be taken by governments as demanded by the prosecutor, and people to reduce emissions, consume less, and change harmful energy systems. Corporations have no right to determine the energy system for humans and trade rules set up to exploit Mother Earth and exploit her children must be jettisoned. The unholy trinity of WTO, the World Bank, and the IMF must be urgently re-examined where it's not possible to be modified, they should be closed down. Privatization of water takes it off public trust and affects access to water. And, and so we declare that water must be taken out of the market system. And finally, we are all children of Mother Earth. We can hear our cries. We can see her tears. We can see the pains. We can see the struggles to restore, recover from harmful impacts of humans. It is time for us all, beyond what we decide here at the tribunal, to individually and collectively join hands and take steps to ensure that climate criminals are brought to book and not allowed to every year waste resources and gather in comfortable halls, meet through the nights, and come out with no solutions. Thank you. Yeah.